Greetings my viewer, my name is Ken Mugo, the Managing Director at Madaraka Homes Limited. At Madaraka Homes Limited, we offer you the best of the best, be it uh, customer service, be it uh, project, be it timely delivery of title deeds, and also properties located in very, very prime places. Now today I want to address one thing. And this thing was brought about by one of my diaspora clients who reached out to me. And this is what happened. Uh, the lady reached out to me. Then she was interested in one of our projects uh, in Malindi. So she wanted to do some due diligence, which is very, very important while you are purchasing a property. Now she sent the brother. The brother resides somewhere still in Kenya. So, number one, the brother asked for fare to Malindi. On average, uh, a bus will cost you between 1,500 to, to 2,500. And the brother received 5,000, which means this was to and fro. And for us, we were supposed to cater for the lunch and uh, transport to the site. Now, <clears throat> the brother asked for money to do the search. And this is where I realized the kind of troubles our clients in diaspora go through with their representatives. So the brother, number one, never traveled to Malindi. So after telling the sister that now I'm in Malindi, the sister sent another 3,000 to do the search, which obviously was high. And then, to do a follow-up, I called the representative. And the representative said that uh, he's going to do the land search and he'll get it within minutes. Which I myself, being in this industry, a search takes between two days and three days. But this guy, said so that he will get it in minutes. So, after some hours, he called back and said, I've done the search and uh, the land is not clean. Now to my wonder, to my amusement, this land, I have the original title deed, I have the green card, and I have subdivided the land and also issued title deeds. And I had to call the land's office to follow up on what could be the issue. But the truth is, the guy never traveled. He never showed up uh, to the land's office to do the search. Now the sister was so devastated. And this led to me thinking of what I can do to help our brothers and sisters, cousins, relatives, investors in the diaspora. So number one, for you who is in diaspora, you need to have someone whom you can trust. If you don't get anyone, maybe a relative or a friend who, whom you can trust, you can involve a lawyer, a genuine lawyer, who can do all this due diligence on your behalf. And if you cannot get the two, we have a legal department in our company whereby you can communicate directly to our lawyer through the office uh, legal department number and she will walk you the journey of property ownership. I know being in the diaspora, there are so many challenges when it comes to property acquisition. Number one, before buying a property, you need to know who is the owner of the property. If the property is not registered under the company's name, you need to know why. And there needs to be a legal backup of why the property is not yet in the company's name. Number two, if the company is, if you're paying in cash and the company is supposed to transfer that it did to your name, you need to understand all the documents that are required. Number four, you need to understand the process of title transfer, what it entails, and the time it takes. 
So this is the first part that I'm doing about our diet for a client and I'll be doing this twice per week to ensure that you who is in diaspora you get well informed before you invest thank you so much for watching and have a good time bye bye